Hey everybody, this is Eric Jackson. I want to welcome you to my uh, in-home studio, otherwise known as my office. Kind of looks like that. Mm-hmm. Different cool stuff. Oh, those are kayaking. <laughs> but today is an exciting day for me, and hopefully you'll enjoy what I've got in store for you. Today is an Angler 360 day. So uh, I just brought home my first production Angler 360. I cannot tell you how exciting that is for me. I've been paddling the prototypes for a while, but uh, the production model, woo, it is sweet. But I wanted to do it just like uh, if you were to buy one off the shelf and you would get one from Blue Sky or Blue Sky Dealer, uh, and you'd receive it, you would need to do a little bit of assembly, and uh, but also you may want to rig it out uh, the way you like it. So I rigged this bad boy out the way I like it, and I'm going to share that rigging with you. And I'm also going to share my first ever fishing experience in it with you and um, not to uh, I don't know not to spoil anything but oh <laughs> you got to see the end of the video unbelievable but anyway I'm gonna start this video I'll put a little video together for you this is all uh, all the fishing is in one day and all the setup was uh, just an afternoon you'll get the idea meanwhile little boom box Tonight is the name of the song. It's going to be kind of our background music as we go. Frosty mug. So, you got a calf killer beer. Got to have one of those. What is the occasion? Well, it's uh, five o'clock on a Thursday afternoon. If you are uh, a rock, if a uh, Kickstarter contributor for the Blue Sky Angler 360, you probably already have your boat, but I just got mine. So what I'm about to do, rig it up. Just brought it home. I'm gonna put the seat on it and I'm gonna outfit it and you get to watch. So yeah. follow me around. You don't need to follow me around. Let me jump oh, forward here. Take a sip of this. Ooh. Now we get to the boat. There we go. There's the seat and that's where the beer goes. Where that's beer a Mixmaster 7.0. <laughs> White water oh, tag. Tomorrow, you know, that, you know that song. Torn between two lovers. Yeah. Feeling like a fool. That's why I'm not a professional like. singer. But tomorrow is gonna be white water. All right, here we Next go. day is gonna be fishing. So let me just put this here. And we'll do a little time on it. All right, here we go. What you're watching right now is we're putting it together. And. Right here, I'm putting together the uh, the transducer arm by Ram Mounts. And if you noticed in the beginning there, I put on the uh, this. You can see my cursor there, right in the middle. The, it says Ram Mounts just over my arm. That is my GoPro mount. It's the new swinging GoPro mount arm. It's unbelievable. That thing, because it swings full full 360 and it's super smooth, you can get a lot of really cool angles with your GoPro. So when you start seeing the fishing videos. All the front view shots were taken from that thing right there. Ooh, it's kind of fast. Da, 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 da. You notice my uh, cup holder with the Orion tumbler right there. Uh, what else have I put on? Nothing yet. Um, on the back, I'm doing the transducer arm on that side now. We'll get through that. Transducer arm is on. Hey, my wife just got home in the mini. And. Uh, See that transducer arm? Took a little bit. Ooh. I'm getting ready to put on the. Uh... All right. So with the transducer arm, uh, we ran a pass through on the uh, pass through um, for the cords into the actual boat right next to the hatch, and you'll see our little uh, our trays in there. They've got a little indent that allows you to run the cords from inside the boat and then put your batteries right in there in the. Uh, and the tray, it's pretty sweet. Definitely the way to go. Ooh, getting the seat on. So the seat is on. Wait, I'm already ready to go, all right. So, ooh, there you go, do, do, do. See that thing I'm putting on right there? That's the Ram Mount X-Grip. So that's gonna hold my phone. Uh, and then somewhere in there I put on my, um, my Raymarine Dragonfly, it, and I actually rigged the Dragonfly, I don't have the video of that, anyway, I rigged the Dragonfly on my seat, you'll see that in a second. 
Super cool. That way, when you turn, your electronics go with you. Wait till we get a little Here closer. Here we go, guys. Got my brand new Angler for you. Ooh. All right, look right here on right. Uh, we're right over the blue sky logo, straight up on the seat, where I'm doing the cursor. That's the Raymarine Dragonfly right there, um, on the seat. So when I turn with the seat. The, uh, the the screen goes with me and it's pretty sweet. 60, not to be confused with a prototype. This is the cool logo, huh? Production version. I like it. That's my Rockstar 4.0, also a brand new production version. But today's fishing excursion. Okay. Got my power pole. Alright, check a look at the top of my power pole right there. I've got two mounts. So I've got the GoPro handlebar mount that's holding the, the GoPro itself. And then I've got the ram mount X grip with the tough claw. Now what that does is holds my external battery supply. This thing right here, it's a Goal Zero Venture 30. And this thing, I've used it for a whole day and it looks as that much charge left. So anyway, it holds a lot of charge so it keeps your GoPro going all day. We'll get into the GoPro in a second, but let's keep going. The Rimmering Dragonfly, I got GoPros. Got all that. Got my Tennessee trailer. Ooh. So this trailer specifically designed for the Angler 360. Tennessee. And of course it's made right here. Made right here in Sparta, Tennessee. Alright. Oh uh, yeah. Got my Nissan Titan. Yeah. Made in Tennessee also. Okay, so well, like made in the US. Alright, so you'll see my rig there. So towing it back. I've got the um, my Team JK Orion Cooler. If you're on Team Jackson Kayak, you can get one. If you're not on Team Jackson Kayak, you can get a standard Orion Cooler. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so check it out. This is me back in, uh, back in the trailer right in the mud. I didn't even bother taking it off the trailer. If you notice, I just backed it straight on. Uh, backed it most of the way in the water, but notice the wheels aren't anywhere near the water on the truck. Now watch this. This is cool. Two little pushes. Slides right in. That's pretty easy. That's my first time ever doing it. PFD, safety first, folks. Safety first. All right. So um, uh, lifted up the the lever for the flex drive. Put the cover down. Um, no one is back or out. Um, right now, I'm adjusting everything. Boom. Do you see that? What I did right there was I put the rudder down. Just a lift of the cord, rudder drop straight down. All right. Almost forgot my paddle. I got my paddle. So look at the rod holder. Check it out. See the paddle it goes right there. Super slick. You ready? And it holds four rods. So you got four rods plus your paddle. And it, and that that paddle holder actually falls down to the side also. Now I've got uh, seven or eight rods on the deck. So I've got four in the holders and I got three or four up front. Pretty cool. All right. That's me adjusting my ram mount, my GoPro on the ram mount. That's my buddy Edmund right there pulling my truck away. I don't know how he pulled it away, but I gotta back it in again when I go to get my boat out. Um, I don't have to. I can use the wheels. Um, anyway, right there. So here I am cruising. You see that? Some sweet cruising speed. Um. Da, 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 da. So I, uh, I learned how to drive this um, drive this thing one more time. I have my back up so far. So there we go. All right. So I want you to notice. So I figured it out. At 30 RPM, that's 15 um, or 30 times around. 30 RPM is super mellow, low stress on the legs, and the boat cruises. So look at me go. It's awesome. Notice standing up front, easy to flip. And I went back on the cooler. I went all the way in the back deck. Um, I did some fishing on top of the cooler. And I didn't capture that. I'm not sure why. There we go. Uh, right now I'm getting the Gatorade out of Powerade. Um, just showing that you can spin the seat around backwards. So you can spin it all the way backwards. Super easy. Uh, so it makes it so you can access your cooler. You can stand up on the cooler easy. And I also have to get back there if I want to get up and uh, play with my uh, the power pole and the GoPro on top of the power pole. All right. 
the uh, oh, first fish catch of the Angler 360. Check it out. Notice all the shallow sticks. You notice I'm standing up. The boat's not wobbling at all. It's super easy. Now look at this. See, this is controlling the rudder. Really easy to control the rudder. Just a little tap. It's always right there. You see? Let's talk about fishing. Buzz bait. Sugar buzz. All right, here we go. Check it out. So now, a couple questions people ask is, how does it paddle? And I'll notice I have my paddle upside down because I'm really pushing more than paddling, so I wasn't really thinking about that. The paddle goes that way, but uh, if I'm not worried about that at the moment, you don't need to be worried about it either because I'm pushing off the logs. So here, I'm in about, a, I don't know, less than a foot of water. Lots of lay down and trees, a lot of brush. And I, pa I pedaled all the way in there, but now I'm gonna use the paddle to maneuver around so notice I'm using a, a two-bladed paddle. That's a Werner uh, Jackson Kayak Custom Huna, uh, Hooked Shuna. But um, uh, it's about 250 centimeters, which is a good length. You can actually paddle on both sides. But look how I use it. I'm going to use it off the logs. I'm going to push the boat around. Um, and I'm going way back into like a couple inches of water. But anyway. Um, We'll just push off the log, kind of get position, stop. It's a good song, huh? Now cast buzz bait out. What do you think is going to happen when I pull the buzz bait? I don't know. Maybe I should <laughs> set the hook. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a strike king. Swinging sugar buzz. Check it out. Notice I've got a GoPro on my wrist also. I get a couple cool shots of that. It's called the wristy mount. Um, real quick, why is it important how GoPros? It's not, but you know what they say, if it's not on video, it didn't happen. That's what people tell me all the time. Like, I caught the biggest fish ever. Do you have video, you have photos? Uh-uh, nah, I don't believe it. Well, <laughs> we got video and photos today. Meanwhile, here's some more paddling action. Um, notice, I'm gonna have to paddle. I'm actually paddling over super strong sticks and little brush and trees that are actually sticking out of the water. Notice a couple strokes on that side. Um, now notice I've got the rudder way off to the left. Eventually I'll realize that and I'll push the rudder to the right to turn right, right about here. Boom, there goes the rudder to the right. Now to turn to the right nice and easy. I'm out of there, very cool. Now what we're doing now, I got a little finesse fishing, so we're about to uh, put on a strike king swinging swim jig, green pumpkin, with a green pumpkin twin tail menace on the back. If you've never finished with fish with the menace, it kicks butt. And I'm gonna fish this thing. Swinging swim jig. Uh, let's listen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fish this thing on the bottom like a jig instead of using a Texas rig whatever I'm gonna finesse fish a swimming jig because I can pull my pull over the logs I can swim it over it works so sweet fish on, fish on. yeah Ooh. are you having fun in the angle 360 yet check out this shot this is a uh, from the top of my GoPro. Ooh. Notice how stable the boat is, full of hooks, hook set, barely moves. Ooh. Man, so much fun. You, you see my uh, Raymarine Dragonfly right at the hip, just the glance down to the side like that. And I can see the depth, and by the way, I just caught that fish in 15 feet of water. It's a three eighths inch, three eighths ounce. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Hey, check it out, same hat. I'm excited about this bad boy. See how high I'm sitting? Why am I sitting so high? It's comfortable. I have the seat all the way forward, by the way. I have 28 inch inseam seat all the way forward. And I need it to, uh, to reach the pedals properly. So if you're taller than a 5'6", five, 5'7", five, you move the seat back some. Notice the power pole. 
the, uh, this experience. This is just too much fun. It is too much fun. Power pull remote around the neck. All right. That's an Orion uh, 45, by the way. Filled with Powerade and maybe some beer, too. Whoa! Whoa! At the boat. Mm. Ooh. This is the wristy mount. Check it out. One. Is that cool or what? It's coming at That's me. The... Is it a big one? I don't know. Keep coming. It's a little one. Hydroplane. That's a wristy mount. Wristy GoPro mount. Sick angle. Looking down the cash in rod there. See the swimming sw swim jig? Swinging swim jig. Twin tail menace. Cool. Cool. So cool. Texas rig. At a, almost a hundred percent hookup ratio. Up the tree, on the tree even on some of the, even on all the little fish. You know, I was catching some little fish in there, obviously. Uh, oh my God! Did you just see that? I have to rewind that. That was unbelievable. Watch this. What just happened? You're not gonna believe it. But the hook came off of my uh, sexy dog. Uh, I got the split ring, it must have got in there. The fish took the hook away and launched that sexy dog around my arm. Mmm, sketchy. What do you think? I survived it. But it is sexy dog time. Nah, wake bait. I notice it's getting it's a little bit darker. Don't get late. Ooh, check this bad boy out. This is wake bait. Super slow on the surface. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, I dropped my rod in the water. So, uh, back to top water, getting late at night. Notice I've got um, I've got most of my tackle boxes just behind the seat. Um, I've got some stuff in the bag. Um, at this moment, I'm using the saddle bag that comes with it, the Blue Sky Boat saddle bag. Is I'm actually sticking my beer in the saddle bag. You can see the uh, the Raymarine Dragonfly right there. Um, so right in front of the saddle bag. So that works pretty good. So as a beer holder, see look how easy it is to get your beer out of there. You can also use a Ram Mount cup holder. But that saddle bag. Even with uh, one or two tackle boxes in there, it holds the beer nicely. I thought you'd like to see that. Just being able to swivel the seat, by the way, if you're normally fishing out of a kayak, unbelievable. You fish totally sideways, adjust the angle. You're always in a comfortable position. You're not like fishing off to the side all the time, which makes it really cool. Um, Notice without even thinking, I'm getting really comfortable, you know, getting my legs on the pedals without even thinking twice about it. You notice how easy it is to stand up. You're so high, standing up is really easy. So a sip of beer, a couple pedals forward, maybe a couple twitches of my sexy dog, and bingo. <laughs> that is so much fun. I smile just watching myself having so much fun. Uh, fishing does not suck. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of like what you call a perfect day of fishing. So it's super calm weather. Um, it's actually a, a, a cold front blew in. Summertime cold front in Alabama. Check that bad boy out now. Key piece of gear right there, Buck Knives Slizzers. They got the super sharp scissors on there. They also the have is, pliers. Good chance I'm gonna catch bluegill on this. Bluegill, what? I am downsizing. Pop R. Pop R. Cast a pop R out there. Got the little feather on the thing. What, what are you going to catch? Bass, but I caught it on this one, folks. I actually cut it off after this because my first, my first fish is a bluegill. And I'm like, what? I'm not here to catch bluegill. But sure enough, it's another good chance to use the splizzers right here. Check it out, like, uh, even a little bluegill can mess you up and they shake, so safety first. Hold on there and a little double shake, the splizzers, bluegill comes off. 
No more pop wire, not as I'm back to that sexy dog. <laughs> Dumb of those blue girl. I want to catch big fish. I packed pretty light for this trip. I only had one sexy dog, and it was a little one. So um, I didn't have the full-size sexy dog, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to catch full-size fish. Solid grab, solid grab. I'm using a 50-pound braid on all this here. Sexy um, dog, It works just fine like that. No need to throw fluorocarbon on that. Get up. Uh -uh, that's all you need. 50 pound braid. Tough line braid. Green. Tough line XP. Uh, see the moon in the back? That little white dot back there? That is the moon. It's starting to get dark. A couple more top water fish. Nothing new about my rigging here. All I'm doing is taking my boat for the first time out and having a good time with it. And man, it is so much fun. Another splizzers opportunity. All right, prepare. I cut to the chase. This is it, folks. This is the hoo 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 hoo. <laughs> I cannot tell you how fired up I am on this one. So what's about to happen? It's top water. It's pretty dark, so sorry about the quality of the video. I want you to look right. Hold on, let me move my uh, wrong thing. Let me move this screen out of the way. Ooh. I want you to look right there. Look right there. It's a sexy dog, and it's a, right. Right, all right, come on, Eddie. Oh, you see the blow up right there? Woo! <laughs> you want to watch the battle? It's an epic battle, folks. This is no little fish. Oh, yeah, game on. Oh, I gotta move this thing back over. Oops, what just happened? There we go. Da 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 pardon me da 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 Back over there, sorry about that, and off we go. And let's watch it. Here we go. Check it out. This is the same top water bite, different angle. We've got sun in the background this time. One here, watch the face. Cannot wait to see this fish. I'm saving it for the end. Now notice, blue sky is on the move. It takes a big fish to move this boat. Can't watch, I can't watch. Check it out. Battle another big jump. Another big jump. Come on, go. Don't come off. Don't come off. I'm almost nervous, even though I know it doesn't come off. I think it's time to land this bad boy. What do you think? You want to see it? I want to see it. I want to see it. I'm going to, I'm going to pause it when we get there. Come on. Come on. Don't come off. Sexy dog. That's right. No it's the same sexy dog right here. Coming in close. Watch him jump. Don't jump off. <laughs> so heavy, I can hold this whole Check that bad boy out. I almost can't let him look. I drop him back down. Ah! But he gets back in. Lift him back up. Whoa. That's right, folks. Woo! <laughs> Somebody's fired up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Check it out. Oh, I can barely hold it up. First day in Angler 360. 
I'm a fan. Let's watch a pair of squizzers. No harm done to this fish right here. Come on, let's get that sexy dog out of the mouth. You are a beautiful fish. Okay. Mm. I did not weigh it. No need to weigh it. Ten plus. He's first. Let's get a photo of this. Yeah, that's my photo. Angle 360. Uh, here we are, folks. Blue sky. Woo! Well, that is it. I hope you learned enough. And hope you're fired up to try out the Angler 360 yourself. The setup took me less than an hour. Um, now I had my ram mount set and ready to go. I had the, the pass through thing, so it was easy to uh, rig up my electronics and the cables. The only thing I need, I need some zip ties because I'm going to pack those cables up a little bit tighter. Um, can't think of anything else I want to do to it right now other than I want to go fishing again. Well, thanks for joining me. Hey, holler at me if you have any questions. Blue Sky Users Group on Facebook. That's a great place to go. Um, a lot of good information on there. Um, all the good with the bad. So, like, you know, people having um, things they have questions about or whatever, and we're there to answer them for you. So, uh, get your Blue Sky. Thirty-five hundred bucks. That'd be the best thirty-five hundred dollars you spend. Go to BlueSkyBoatWorks.com. You can buy it straight online, or go to one of our dealers. And then you're going to send video and photos to me, and I'm going to watch your video. See you guys later.